Okay guys, what we've done so far in the replacement of removing the stock um, Futaba S-Bus receiver out of the Phantom, we've unscrewed the two screws and we're taking out the, the stock receiver. It also comes out of that little hole right there. So just pull that out. What we're going to do is we're going to take the AR-8000, put a piece of two-sided sticky tape, place it there. Then we're going to take all of our pitch cables and we're going to just accordingly do aileron to aileron, rudder to rudder, elevator, and move down the line till we finish those up. After we finish that up, we're going to run the satellite back down through that hole, and it'll eventually bolt to the leg right here, and pretty much we'll keep on moving. We're going to put in this area the telemetry unit, which goes right there, and we're going to wire the positives to the battery from that there, and the temperature sensor is going to go right there on the ESC to let us know if we're lifting too much weight or not. Uh, and hang on for the next part of this video and we'll keep moving through it. Okay guys, we've now installed the receiver, AR8000, onto the main board. We've ran the satellite receiver wire through the small hole that's going to attach to the legs. And we've attached all the servo leads to the NASA. And what that tape is, that tape blocks the light beam that comes out of the receiver, just so those interference. The only plug-in that's left is the actual GPS compass unit, which is this unit right here. It plugs right into there. And now we're going to move on to installing the telemetry. Okay, guys. Now, we know that the telemetry unit for the Spectrum sends back your current battery voltage under load, which is really nice. Now, how we get that into the telemetry unit is we actually take the data cable and we actually solder the negative and positive accordingly to those two locations right there and then we're going to use some two-sided sticky tape move that um, compass cable out the way and it's going to mount right there and then we're going to take this cable put a small extension over it and it's going to go to the data cable there so it'll talk with the AR so this unit right here will send back ESC temperature it will send back battery voltage temp um, um, voltage as well so it'll be complete on your um, DX8.